The sound of the piano is produced by the vibrating strings, which are created by the action of the hammer when one of the 88 keys is pressed down. When a piano key is pressed, a hammer flies up and then strikes the strings tuned to produce the corresponding note, then falls away from the strings quickly to not stop the vibration. These keys are basically attached to levers and pivots that release the hammers to strike the strings after the pianist depresses on a key. The function of the pivots and levers is to release the hammer immediately after striking so the strings can vibrate freely to produce their sound. This is called the escapement mechanism. If a hammer remained in contact with the strings, it would produce a clunk sound instead of a sustained musical tone. Modern piano hammers are made of wood covered with tightly compacted felt. This is an example of a piano hammer hitting the three strings. As you may notice, the sound stops immediately after the key is released. This is due to the damper touching the strings. If the damper is held up, the sound is sustained, like so. The vibration of a piano strings alone would be too quiet to be heard. Their sound must be amplified. Piano strings press down on a wooden bridge which conducts their vibrations to the large, thin piece of wood called the soundboard. Wooden ribs glued across the board help to spread the strings vibrations through the mass. From the soundboard, sound is radiated into the air. The string or strings vibrate and produce a tone having a specific pitch. Most pianos have 88 keys, which produce 88 distinct pitches. Frequency of the first note of each octave is double that of the first note of the octave below it. Lower strings are wrapped with copper or iron wire so that they vibrate slower and produce a lower pitch. The lowest note on the piano is A, sounding at 27.5 Hz, and the highest is the top C, sounding at 4,186.009 Hz. On the left side of the piano and moving right, the notes go up in pitch as you play each successive key. They are very low at the left side of the keyboard and reach a very high pitch at the right side of the keyboard. If we play the note at the far left side of the keyboard, the pitch is lower, much lower, than if we play a key at the far right side of the keyboard. But the volume stays the same. The piano produces a unique sound compared to other instruments. It is considered to be a polyphonic instrument, which means that it produces multiple sounds at the same time. Unlike the trumpet or the violin or any other instrument, every key, if pressed by a professional or a beginner, sounds the same. A piano also belongs to several music groups. It is considered to be a keyboard instrument as well as a per percussion and a string instrument. With instruments like the cello, viola, electric guitar, etc., you only have one me melody line and sometimes you have two or possibly three. With the piano, you have several interchanging melody lines and to bring each of them out with the correct amount of stress takes a lot more work than to play the other instruments with just one melody line. The sound produced by a piano is unveiled through a complex design. Every key has its own frequency and pitch. You can change the volume of the piano by striking the keys hard or soft. Finally, the piano is widely considered to be one of the most important instruments in the world. And that is the end of my presentation.